Hello, Bonita Bay Club. Justin Smith, one of your PGA teaching professionals here. Today, I want to talk about putting and three non-negotiables that I feel that can help improve your putting. So let's talk about number one, that being eye line. Okay. So the eye line of um, our eyes being when we sit up to the putt can affect the direction the putter moves and also, let's just say, the start line of the putt. Okay. I'm going to give you an example here. So if I'm standing really close to it and my eyes are way out, you know, say outside the golf ball here. Okay. A lot of times this is going to kind of work with gravity a little bit and our eye line. Okay. So if I take this straight back, look where the putter goes outside and cuts across it. This would be the opposite if I was standing really far away and obviously when my arc would move inside, sort of inside or maybe inside to out. So those are very much, you know, let's just say timing based setup positions, meaning that, you know, if I really have to get this thing from the inside and all the way around, I've got to have really good hands. Um, we don't want necessarily want to rely on that. So eye line itself, we need to make sure that um, our eyes are over the golf ball or maybe just inside of it. We also need to understand if we're left eye dominant or right eye dominant. That's obviously maybe a session with one of us or if you already know, good job. But make sure that your eyes are somewhere on top of the ball or just inside of it. Eyeline Golf makes a pretty good uh, training device. It's a little putting mirror. I've got all different sizes for it. So um, Amazon and, and their website has it. So I'd check that out if I were you. But second would be ball position itself. Okay. Let's talk about one of the greats first, Jack Nicholas. Okay. He had a pretty narrow stance. Both feet flared towards the target and the ball position was back. But what he did a lot was he kind of popped at it a little bit. He was real kind of jabby at it, which is fine. Like I said, this, this uh, putting motion we make or putting in general is very personal. It's very unique. But there are a few things that need to be sort of checked off um, to have consistent putting. Um, so talking about ball position, he had his back. But what I see today is... Most golfers will have their ball position center or left of center, depending on what their stroke does and how much uh, loft we have on our putter based off of our stroke. Okay. So know where your ball position should be by getting with one of us, you know, to help you get the correct end over end moving forward. So that's number two. Number three would be shaft the same plane as my arm. So it's about the same plane for me a conventional grip, meaning left hand high for a right handed golfer, as you can see here. Okay, the shaft itself is probably the same, about the same angle as my left arm. Okay, I've got left hand high too. So, what are some ways we can accomplish this? Let's talk about just the grip itself. Okay, as I hold up my left hand, this is going to be sort of my high hand on the club. Okay, we need to find the lifeline. Okay, so if we look at the lifeline or hand, this is they have two little bumps right here and you've got a little crease between your middle finger or excuse me, your pointer finger and thumb and kind of right through here is your lifeline. So we want to be able to put the putter right in there and grab it. This takes away our fingers. Um, in most other shots in the game, um, we have to grip it, let's just say in our fingers and then go from there. But this will help us stabilize the putter head from, you know, opening and closing too much. Um, and that will help get that shaft a little more let's say vertical or on the same plane as our arm. Uh, and then the second thing is if we talk about, you know, our thumb going up or down, which is radial deviation up and ulnar deviation down, we need a little bit more of that down or the ulnar deviation to help produce the same plane. Okay. So life onto the hand and a little bit of feeling the thumbs down, which will actually hit that putter more vertical up in the air. This all is really good for, you know, stabilizing that putter itself. Okay. There are two golfers that I know off the top of my head, um, Hideki Matsuyama and Tony Finau, both pretty decorated careers, but, and successful golfers, but they will set up and they've got their hands very low and the toe of the putter is way off the ground. Like I said before, it's very personal, very unique. That's the way they do it, but they're out of, you know, millions of golfers and they're just two. So I'm not saying that theirs is incorrect at all. They, they just know what's going to happen every time. And that's what we're trying to get our message to you guys and gals is, you know, 
let's be repeatable with this. You know, it, it, we, some of it should be checked off, but not all of it has to look good. Okay, we're here to, to get results. Um, we spend about 25 to 40 shots per round um, on the putting green or putting. And uh, if we're any higher than 40, we're going to probably need to uh, get a session with us and see why we're doing that. Or we probably need to reevaluate how we're you know, hitting our approach shots into the green or chip shots, whatnot. So knowing that putting is fun. But when I go out to the range to either maybe get up, get set up for my lessons or just passing through, um, I usually take a peek at the range and then back at the putting green. And majority of the players are on the driving range and not so much on the putting green. So let's spend a little more time on the putting green. Know your stroke, know your setup, know your tendencies, and let's have a good time doing it. So if you have any questions regarding your game, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you. Have a blessed day.